place one of these keyhole slots wherever you want in this um, drill press jig. I wanted to place mine pretty close to the, uh, the dead center where the drill enters the board because I wanted to be able to clamp small work pieces that I couldn't reach from these other clamping locations. So I've decided to put mine uh, quite close to that sacrificial plate. You'll need to measure those points. You'll need an entry point and an exit point, which you're actually gonna drill out with a force in a bit. And then once you've drilled those two holes out, then you draw a line between those two holes using the keyhole bit. Now you can either set that up on the router table if you like, or you can do it with a handheld router. Uh, in both cases, you're gonna have to use either the fence on the router table or some sort of fence that you clamp down with the handheld router but it's relatively simple. You just need to make sure that the hole that you're drilling at each end with your Forstner bit is larger than the keyhole bit itself, obviously, because it has to go into that hole freely. And then you need to make sure that the fence that you've um, clamped on allows this router bit to travel exactly from the center of one of these holes to the center of the second hole. Like I said, I actually did mine on the router table. I found that pretty simple. I just made sure that I measured the distance from the center of the router bit to the edge of my piece here, and then I ran this edge along the fence. You can do that however you like. Now, you're limited in how deep you can set these by the blades that are on the sh um, narrower part of the shank, which means you can only set the entire depth to be about 10 mil, I believe. That being said, if you did happen to have some aluminium T-Track lying around, you could create a stronger clamping track by using the aluminium T-Track rather than routing this directly into the timber. Um, but for ease and just for the sake of showing you another handy piece of equipment, I thought I would demonstrate this particular technique. The last thing to tell you about this kit is that we have thrown in this little uh, stop which sits on the fence. It's just a little T-Track stop, so it slides onto that T-Track like so. And you can tighten it off. It flips up and down, which makes it pretty handy. So you can just leave it on the fence the whole time, lift it out of the way or put it down into place when you need it. And that allows you, with the fence and the stop, to get really accurate repeatability for uh, a certain measurement if you've got a whole bunch of com components or a whole bunch of work pieces that you need to drill in exactly the same location every single time. Um, gives you one extra degree of security too, so maybe you're not going to need to use clamps quite as much because you can butt the piece up against the fence and the stop. So, as you can see, really useful jig, simple to put together. Um, go grab yourself one of these kits and you can get yourself a really professional, incredibly useful drill press jig in no time at all. You can grab these from Timbercon either on their website at timbercon.com.au or in either of their stores in Perth and in Melbourne.